Welcome back. In this segment, I am joined by uh, an old neighbor of mine and a very good friend, Todd Berenger, with uh, Client Advisor with BMW of Hilton Head and former PGA Tour and Nationwide player. Todd, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here, Danny. All right. Well, let's, Todd, let's, I want to, I want to first talk, tell the viewers a little bit about your golfing career and then we'll move into uh, your time with BMW and what you're doing there. I think you've been there, what, in a year and a half now? A year and a half now I've been with Hilton Head BMW. Uh, my time uh, professionally started uh, many tours uh, in the late 80s. Uh, went through, uh, earned my tour card uh, in 1994 through, the, through uh, qualifying school. Um, and then uh, went to the Asian tour for a three year period over there where... What years were those? Uh, 95, 96, and 97. You spent a lot of time. A lot of time in the Far East. All right. Did you learn how to communicate over there? You know, I did. It was great. Uh, I learned a lot about the world. Sure. And uh, traveling over there is, uh, is a great experience. Uh, I highly recommend it for anybody that, uh, that is interested in, in opening their horizons to the rest of the world. Well, I understand you had a victory uh, while you were on tour over there. What, which, which tournament did you win there? I won the Thailand Open in, uh, in, uh, just outside of Bangkok wow. in, a, in a little town called Pattaya Beach, Thailand. Huh. So wow. uh, it, uh, That was your first professional victory? That was my first uh, of, of, uh, of, sequ of uh, anything that significant, had significance. Real significance. Yes, yeah. let's say it that way. Yeah. Um, so that was uh, that was exciting, and then uh, came back here uh, in '96 and went through the qualifying school and earned my nation t uh, nationwide tour um, status at yeah. the time. I want to say that it, uh, it it was called the Buy.com tour. That's, That's what I tried. right. It was called the Buy.com yep. tour at that time. Uh, earned that, played that the the second half of uh, the '97 season, and okay. then uh, was out of golf uh, with some health issues for '98 and '99. Uh, came back in 2000 and uh, went out Monday, qualified 11 events, played in 11, and made it in nine of the events. That's uh, hard to do for anybody that really, who I, knows I, about Monday qualifiers. That's not easy. You yeah, got one day it, to get uh, out there and perform. It was. I, I was fortunate. Uh, made it in uh, in the tour events, and then uh, and then uh, went through that whole year and came to the PGA Championship, which obviously there's no Monday qualifying for that. Wow. Um, and decided to go over to the Nationwide Tour, and uh, Monday qualified uh, for that event, and uh, I believe I I went uh, like second, fourth, and a third or something like wow. that uh, in the next three weeks and earned my. Earned my card back to the uh, Buy.com tour, nationwide tour at that time, and then uh, and then just earned my way through uh, for the 2001 season uh, on the nationwide tour. I, I won the Dayton Open, um, second professional victory second, of significance. Right. Won, and I, um, I think uh, you mentioned to me an offset you set at that time was the nationwide record for. Uh, four rounds under par, which was 26 under par for that tournament. Right, um, I 26 I, under par, folks. Come on, really? <laughs> this guy's a player. Yes. I tied uh, Chris Smith. Uh, yeah, he had set the Ohio State the, guy. Right, he yeah. had set the record uh, a few years before that in Omaha, and uh, and I got lucky enough and uh, and tied him with that. I was trying to beat eked, the record. Eked Bo Van Pelt out for that. Yeah, victory, I, I snuck past Bo. Bo uh, took me all the way down to the wire on that event, and wow. uh, and I got lucky. I, I think I beat him by a shot. So, so by virtue of your your play that year, I think you 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 won enough money to get you exempt and move on to the PGA Tour. Is that correct? Well, uh, that year I, I I won into the Tour Championship, 15th on the money list, and uh, I think I shot the worst professional round oh. I ever shot. I shot 80. 81 or 83 the first round. Of, Johnny uh, Miller would have been all over you. Oh yeah, he? he would have oh, been yeah. running me like a rug. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I ended up uh, getting bumped out by one spot. I, I went from the top 15 got their uh, tour card and I got one from 15 to 16 and wow. missed. So uh, the, for the 2002 season I went back to the Nationwide Tour again and uh, and Lo and behold, I came back into the Tour Championship, 15th on the money list nice. again. Nice. Redemption. Uh, it was redemption. Kyle Stanley right. on it, didn't you? Yep, I yeah. did. So I came back, and then uh, the second year, I shot 65 in the opening round and cruised through uh, and earned help. my tour card. So That'll help. It was yeah, a little, 65's uh, help. A little change. I, I was able to play the second year without a hand around my throat choking to death. <laughs> wow. And I think you'd mentioned to me you played in three Heritages. 
Um, um, I did. I have played three heritages. Three heritages. So wow. they're always wonderful and great experiences. Well, Todd, for most of us golfers who just dream of of performing at any level in a tournament, you know, to have uh, that that's a pretty strong resume for a golfer who's now. I think you mentioned to me you're firmly with BMW and you're you're loving your time with them, but you maybe have aspirations to sneaking back out there at the Champions Tour a little bit later on and. In life, well, you know, I I think once golf's in your blood, it's never it's never completely out. Yeah. Um, no matter what your what you go into, um, I I love my position as a client advisor with Hilton Head BMW. Um, I love the business. Uh, uh, my 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 management general manager, you know, they've Tom Dietzik. Tom Dietzik. Great guy. Yeah. They've uh, they've really taken the time and have taught me the business and uh, and I can't thank them enough for that. But it, it uh, it's always in your blood and you you just love. Uh, I always have the aspirations of going to the of trying for the Champions Tour. Uh, something to shoot for. Something it? to shoot for. I've but got got a few years to go. In the time being, we we're, we're running out of time. I wanted to to make sure we we mention this. Uh, you guys were the official car sponsor for the Heritage again for the fourth year. Is that correct? Yes, we. Uh, this is the fourth year we took over. We took a major sponsor role uh, in this year, and what we did uh, is we were able to cover all the transport costs of all the cars coming in uh, for the players uh, this year. So what that enabled is that enabled the Heritage Foundation to put about seventy thousand dollars more out to the charities Boy, and uh, so it was a huge and, and very uh, satisfying uh, position for us to be able to do that. And that really is what it's all about at the end of the day. Right. Now I know you had mentioned to me also, I wanted to get this in, that you, uh, you had 34 cars out and those cars that were used have a significant discount or or some value if, if buyers want to come in and take a look at these right. beautiful rides. Right. We had uh, we had total 173 cars in for oh. the tournament, okay. um, and uh, we've we've sold a significant amount of them so far. But we have about 32 to 34 cars left um, remaining on the at the dealership, and we've got about uh, you know upwards of 7,500 dollars in discounts, which is unheard of for BMW. Wow. So uh, you guys, if you're looking at a BMW at a at a significant value, come out and see Todd at Hilton Head BMW. Todd, what a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate and it. We'll look forward to following that tour in the Champions, a, champions realm. Thank you. I think you're going to get revived after <laughs> selling mil hundreds of millions of BMWs between now and then. Um, guys, that's all the time we have for this segment. When we come back, Chris Tremblay is going to be back with us talking about how to prepare pre-round with a little stretching and flexibility. Stay with us.